Here's a look at uh, Pat's match last week. His first round qualities against Jeff Gast. I thought he played a really good, clean match, winning 6-2, six, 6-4. Two, six, um, so it was a really windy day with the uh, the wind was blowing sort of from Jeff down towards the, the Pat's backhand corner. You can probably hear it in the microphone as we watch the guys play. And Pat handled the wind really, really well. He used his serve well. He kept depth. He... Uh, he kept a lot of balls in and, and made it tough for Jeff to hit some winners. So we're just going to have a little look at, at, at Jeff's play. Jeff was able to use his serve to you know, generate some short balls from Pat. And when Jeff got control of the points, he, uh, he really worried Pat. Jeff's a pretty skillful player, and uh, you know, given the the right setup in the point, he uh, he can play some good tennis. And you can see here, Pat's keeping too many balls short, letting Jeff get control of the points. And from there, you know, he, he really was was having trouble with him. Pat needed to keep better depth, especially here into the wind. He let Jeff get in. Jeff had solid volleys. He was solid on the midcourt ball. He was able to win those points. What Pat did really well was he didn't allow Jeff to get into those sort of rallies very often. We saw a few there, but for the most part, Pat got the first hit in and if he didn't he kept depth in his rallies and, and kept Jeff on the back foot and made him play you know he, Jeff wanted to finish points off Pat made him do it from tougher positions in the point one really good thing was Pat's serve plus one so we'll have a look at his uh, the way he used his serve to generate um, a ball that he could hit for a winner or a ball that he could control the point from As with all players, serve is a very big part of generating your offense. Uh, Pat's served well in this match. His serve's been a little up and down of late, so we're, we're continuing to work on that. If he hit his spots like that, out wide, and then with the wind, he, he used his serve very well. Um, taking Jeff out of court, setting up a ball to dictate from. As Pat becomes a better player, he'll need, or he plays against better players, he needs to use his serve like he did in this match, better and better, to take the guy out of court, to jam him up, and then get that first strike in. Often Pat relies on his defense, his legs to run and stay in points, but you know, there's, guys are good, there's so many good players now that if you uh, give them that first strike, you're going to be running for the rest of the point. So Pat's getting better at you know, recognizing a short ball, using serve, return, or, or his defense to, to turn a point offensively. Fine on these windy days, the one spot and the eight spot are really, really important shots. If you can take a guy out of court, get them running, it's hard for them, especially uh, 
on that backhand corner into the wind to bring the ball back into play. So that was how Pat you know, used his serve to get into the points. Uh, on the return we talked about it's a really windy day. This, you don't want to take too much risk on the return. Let's go deep, straight at the guy, rush him, especially like this when Pat's got the wind behind him. You can get it back quickly on him. You're probably going to get a short ball. Uh, so early in the match we wanted to you know, aim for that sort of area, deep and, and back at Jeff, and then from there should be able to get control of the point. I did really well with this. You can see it really rushed Jeff and gave Pat the opportunity to, to turn, turn the point in his favour. As the match went on and, uh, and Pat got more comfortable, he was allowed to start to move the ball around, to take the return to the sideline a little bit more. Still keep the depth, but uh, you know, then Jeff wouldn't know what he was doing. But, he, but I don't want him to start going for those sideline returns until he's you know, feeling really good on his return. So I've got to go a lot straight at the guy first. I put in. Uh, Some of Pat's mid-court winners. He's doing a better job of recognising, of taking the ball at the top of the bounce, getting up to it quickly. He gets up there quickly, you can hold your shot, wait and see which way the guy goes. Have a bigger area to hit into. The other way Pat gets uh, into his offense is through his defense. He, uh, if he can move well, it, it shrinks the court for his opponent. Uh, here he's hitting the ball too short, he had to rely on his legs. I'd like to see him keep a little bit better depth than that, but as we go on you'll see some of his... You know, when the other guy does get control, just staying in the point long enough until you're able to turn it back into your own favor. The way he was looking for the off forehand there to quickly get around it. And here I like the way he turns. You know, Jeff's got control of the point, Pat's in trouble, he's able to turn it back into his own offensive point eventually. Just that one deep shot there forced Jeff into a low percentage and Towards the end of the match we had to deal with the uh, warning cyclone alert going off or tornado alert. I guess they tested at 12 o'clock every Saturday. But uh, there it is. 
Pat served out the match there with a the second serve. Played a very, a very clean match, especially in the conditions, because they were tough conditions, very windy. Uh, and his opponent could play well at times. Pat was good enough to keep him under pressure, use his own serve to, to get, get his offense, and then and nullify the other guy, because the other guy wanted to play an aggressive style. Pat used his defense, he used his depth, serve and return a serve. So. It was a good match.